everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race and part two of the turbo kit build on Salty. We finished up the last video by getting the header all set in there. Everything's good, just need to get it welded up. But I do believe I'm probably still gonna modify the headers and set them back a little bit. I start off today by running over to the hardware store and getting some chains and this hook. So I can set up this little contraption here so I can hook onto the chain right there. That hook and then this hook can come over and go on to my engine hoist. Today we're gonna to call it a turbo hoist. It's gonna go in just like that. And then it will help me hold the turbo in place right in the general area that I want it to. I need to raise this up quite a bit more. And then it will kind of hold it there for me while I start to build this out and get an idea of how I'm gonna connect the hot side to the turbo. So let's see if we can get this beast hanging. And something like so. Now I have full control over raising, lowering it, and then even small increments of like twisting it into the correct angle. Otherwise that's not looking too freaking bad. Just gotta uh, get it placed a little bit better. And something about like that. Then you can also see where the inlet from kind of that front bumper area being right here is. And then the exhaust, I need to roll this around and then look and see kind of what this looks like here. And then I can get it a little bit closer once I have these clocked in the right position. At least it's hanging, the oil feed is straight up, the oil drain is below. And that's kind of what we're looking like. Now I'm working on getting things clocked in somewhat the right direction, because you know you have the intercooler inlet here. The exhaust just needs to go here to here. There's one key factor to this. We gotta be able to fit a wastegate in here, so moving it a little further away may help. Kinda gonna need a wastegate somewhere in this general area which looking at that that'd be a little too tight right i mean it'd be close but if we cut this flange off and i move everything back a couple inches then that gains us some room a little bit better room for the wastegate here because you still have a wastegate flange and then you got to be able to make the turn right there as well this is a three inch 45. we're going to need to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about like that, so either this needs to turn more to get to it. Hmm. <laughs> so that's not gonna line up the way it needs to. Or you gotta come out and then put a turn and a turn to get it down into the exhaust. So this is where the headaches begin because you move one thing or turn it a little bit too much then the other one gets really hard to put in and like the angles get difficult. So you really gotta take your time here and just decide kind of pick your battles. So that's what I'm gonna sit here and do for a little bit is just kind of move things around, keep looking at them, and figure out what battles I'm gonna pick. I think the first plan of attack is to cut here and then cut a 45 back as far as possible to where it's straight. And then I'll be able to at least look at that and see how much room that gives me because I really gotta be cautious with the uh, wastegate. But I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, if I pull this off and there's like, I don't know, eight inches and then another four inches of pipe and then you know the cold side like you're under two foot of like piping for your turbo kit that's pretty impressive except for obviously the big snorkel here going on but uh if i can keep it that tight that clean it's really really sweet and then it's really not a big deal that the turbos are that i mean they're super close to the engine that's very minimal travel that the air has to do to get from the turbos to the engine better in there Got my piece cut, it's still too long, but kind of give us an idea of how close are we to the angle. Looking at that, the turbo is still gonna have to turn a little bit more into the car, or I need to come out with this at a little bit of an angle, that with a little bit of an angle, and then we'd be there. Not exactly sure which route I'm gonna go yet. Here's what I'm thinking so far, is I lowered the turbo a little bit, not a ton, but a little bit, and it allows it to kind of move over into the bracket a little bit more, more to the outside of the car. But then that kind of puts us in a deal. And what's really, really nice about the exhaust housings here is that they can rotate up to match this angle. So I'm not having to put another bend in it. I can just match up right there. Then what I'm hoping is on this side, it'd be something similar to where it'd be about like that, a little bit shorter, but then it goes right into the turbo housing as well. Keeps everything at the same angle. That means only one bend. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking that that might be the jam. Good news, bad news. Good news is, got that pipe fitting right there real nice. Bad news is, there is not hardly any room 
for this. I really need to get the intercooler sitting in here to kind of get a visual, but it, it's hard because it can't sit in there on its own. So, um, yeah, we got to kind of figure that out and figure out exactly, because if this can roll down more and I get thinner into this area, then we might be doing okay. But I know I can't go too, too much more. But uh, otherwise, everything else looks really good. I do like the fact that if I did come up even at a bit of an angle right here, not ideal, but maybe it'll work. Uh, the exhaust side, I could either go down and dump it in the middle of the car or come out and then it would run right back over in time to the exhaust that goes out of the car. So, I mean, that could look pretty slick. Back at it again, I actually got my V-bands in, set one of those on, went in and pulled this out. Alex and I were actually talking about this. He's like, you know what, dumb question. Why do you need another V-band right here? Because I was thinking about putting it there. Uh, but I was like, you know what, you're right. As long as we can get that out of the car, we don't need another V-band. So pretty much, I think I'm going to weld it all the way solid and then just have the V-band on the turbo side of things because we were able to just pull it out of the car without, you know, moving the turbo or whatever. There's enough to slide the header back and lift it out. So pretty much that's the whole hot side as long as everything works well, which is really, really slick and really cool. Uh, but I'm going to get this pulled apart and make some tacks, get everything in the car hung, and then uh, we'll take a look at everything because if that is hung in the car and then we can attach it to the turbo with the v-band and everything's nice and stiff then i can look at the cold side and make sure that makes sense we we're kind of thinking should i rotate it out a little bit which would be nice but then i think i'll fight the cold side because it puts it at a weird angle and there's only so much room to make the turn and right now if everything's just based on 45s that keeps everything really nice and clean and symmetrical so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing tacked together My solar flux showed up this is stuff i was telling you guys about this is some powder we actually just had to run in the store to get some alcohol that I'll mix in with it. You make a little paste. If you read the instructions, that's all you do. Uh, so I got a little container. I'll mix it up, make a little paste out of it, and then paint it on the inside of where I'm going to weld. Just enough to need to make a paste. Oh, I made a little bit of a mess. Pull the stir. Oh, yep. There is paste, I'd say. Go and get some installed. So I'm just gonna put a little bit kinda in there, like so. And then like on this pipe here, same thing. So then just get some nice little paste all the way around it. Well, a lot of people will back purge these and uh, I've used this paste quite a bit. My dad used it on a bunch of projects and it seems to work really, really good. So just uh, leave a nice little coating on each piece. And actually this will go over there. So I still need to put some on that side, but pretty much each side of the weld. And then after you weld it, you get this nice little like crust that it leaves. And then you guys can see it kind of goes on as that paste and then dries up. And we'll go ahead and get these tacked back together. I'll probably put my tape on, line my lines up and then get it tacked together got everything lined back up as far as scribe marks and I just got to put a couple little tacks up and down we'll see how it looks I need to get some smaller stainless this stuff is huge so I went ahead and tacked the v-band on here you guys can see kind of like right there where it starts to turn the flux into like a uh, I don't know, just kind of coats it on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and Alex is putting the header back on. We're gonna clamp this to the turbo and then we will tack this to the header and then we'll make sure everything's right where we want. That is some tacked welds there and it is hanging on its own by the v-band so this is really actually pretty stiff and rigid but I did order some maven mounts these go to the bottom of the turbo if you guys haven't seen these these are super nice all billet piece here and uh, you can weld a tube into the end of them and then they bolt to the bottom of the turbo with a little o-ring it'll sit somewhere in there like this up on the flange and then have a mount come off of this and then the drain off the bottom of this but that's what I need to be careful of too, is because the distance from the flange to this bar, and I still need to get a 90 out so the oil drain can head that direction. But I think we're gonna be okay. I don't think the oil drain will hang lower than the turbo, so we should be all right. I've the intercooler in there, added the vibrant clamp. Unfortunately, that kind of gains us some room this way, and it is super, 
super freaking tight. Uh, so we're gonna have to play with everything to pretty much touch the radiator, which obviously is not gonna work because it's in front of this, to rolling this around, to this being clear back here to almost probably close to what, where the pulley would be. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna do here. Uh, headache started. I'm gonna start with a 45. All we can do is start cutting pieces, setting them in there and kind of seeing where we're at. But figuring if I use the 45 to make this work, I, I don't see why I couldn't make a 45 work that way, but uh, I don't know. I also have some 90s, U, all that type of stuff, but this, it's three inch pipe, so it takes up a lot of room to get there. So yeah, just cut and start fitting it in there and seeing what we need. Cut too much, order more if we need, but we gotta have something to put in there to at least start getting a visual to see if it's even possible to reach where we're trying to get. So after about 17 million hours today, fighting that side and still not sure. I think I need a tighter radius bin. The guys and I decided we were gonna put the driver's side on. So we got this turbo hanging here and man, this one's gonna be quite a bit easier because this will just come up and in, kind of like that does down but up. And then that is gonna make life way easier being able to plumb the low part there. So yeah, not 100% uh, not sure on that side how we're gonna make it work, but this side, I don't think we're gonna have much of an issue. Got back to work on it, got this tacked up. And now you guys can see that looks like it's probably gonna work out pretty decent. So as you guys can see, like using a piece just a little bit probably longer than this one. And this side should go together fairly easy if it can land there. Biggest thing is gonna be on that side getting figured out. And I don't really wanna build up this side yet until I know I can make that side work because that's the harder side. Guys, guys, I think that's where we're gonna call it for this part of it because at least we got the hot side done. We're working on some stuff there but I need to get a few more parts coming and this is where it gets tricky because you got to order all the little things you need to complete little projects along the way and kind of holding you up until you get stuff. So I got some stuff second day air and on their way. We'll be back to work on this thing another day. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you would. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video.